Right, here we are in the area of Hulshorst and Nunspeet. And this uh, is called as Hulshorster Zand. And as you can hear, we are very close to a motorway. This is the uh, A28 motorway from Zwolle to uh, Amersfoort. And well, it's quite noisy. And there's also a railroad uh, in the area. Uh, I had to come here via a very small, narrow road. But well, it was easy to find. And there's a car park here, so that's all good. So there's a few different options that we have here. We can go to the left into a more forest-like area, or we can go to the right and go to the sand dunes. Um, there's many sand dunes in this area. It's very big. Uh, even in that area, there's supposed to be some. Um, I initially wanted to go to the left, but I guess we should take a look at uh, some sand dunes first. Because, uh, well, from what I've heard, this uh, area is quite uh, spectacular. Recently I've been in the Omen area uh, at Beerse, where you had sand dunes. Those were quite small. These are a lot bigger. As you can see, <laughs> this is very high already and a bit difficult to walk. And here we have a very interesting sort of creature. Don't know what it is. I have no idea. Maybe it could be a fliegend head. I don't know. It looks interesting. And well, the sand is a little bit moist because it had been raining a few days. Two weeks ago it was extremely hot, like 36 degrees in the Netherlands, especially in the east. Those temperatures were absolutely insanely warm. Luckily today it's like 24, which is nice and just perfect. Ooh, yeah, this is pretty steep. Well, just have a look, all those sand dunes here. Isn't that nice? There's so many ways you can go, but walking through this is really hard. It's a bit different than the Kootwijker Zand, because that was a really big area. This area is quite a bit smaller, but still impressive nonetheless. We have reached a little information signpost, or a pole, with a route. But yeah, I'm not going to walk through all this. Uh, I think I'll take the forest route, but over there is like an observation point, and also there is the car park, and right behind the trees is the motorway. And yeah, sadly you can hear it. 
Oh, there's a group of people. But uh, I think I'll be heading back this way and have a go for a forest stroll. Also here is a bench if you want to take a break. But we're not going to take a break just yet. But yeah, this walk's really heavy. The sand is a little bit moist. Don't know if that is an advantage. I guess it may be to some extent. Anyway, there's been people here before and also other well, creatures, probably dogs. Let's see if we can go this way. Uh, not really, but I do see a road there. So over here is a cycling path. Let's follow this. Yeah, the cyclists are speeding along. Uh, they're going quite fast. So you have to be careful where you're walking. I mean, a lot of people these days have e-bikes, uh, which means they can go really fast. I often get overtaken by people that have an e-bike because I don't have an e-bike. I still have a regular bike and I have to really pedal hard and get really sweaty. And then someone comes zooming along on an e-bike who overtakes me with no effort at all. Yeah, bloody e-bikes. Ah. So this bit is called Leuvenhorst, from het Hulshorster Zand. And this is a forest area. Well, and beforehand I saw that the route could be several kilometers long. So, at least to the point where I want to go, which is like from another railroad crossing. And that's, well, close besides another road. But the problem is there's no car park there. So you have to walk all this way. And well, I don't think I'm going to do that. But there might be an alternative in the future. Because there's also a carpool place. And maybe I can even get there by train. Because the Nunspeet railway station is uh, somewhat close in the area. And in the past, I did go to Nunspeet by train a few times because my uncle used to live here. He actually recently moved to another town, actually closer to where I live now. But yeah, he just recently moved in like, well, a few months ago. And I hadn't been in Nunspeet since last year when he was still living in his uh, old house. So this is definitely more forestry and it's easier to walk than those sand dunes. But let's see if we can actually get to the place that I wanted to go. Although I can't guarantee that I go that far because it uh, well, is several kilometers, I think. And I have other things to do as well today. But at least we could give it a try. Oh dear, where do I go? I have to make sure that I don't get lost. And that's why I'm a, bit, a little bit cautious not to go too far. Because I want to make it back to the car park. Oh, it appears this track is also for horse riding.
I do remember I should kind of follow the motorway. There's actually a car park alongside the motorway that is very close to the area that I want to be. But the problem is that car park is on the side of the motorway that is from like Amersfoort to Zwolle. So you have to make a significant detour and there isn't really a footpath from that car park to the forest. Well, I'm not really sure if there is one. Google Maps seem to suggest that there is some sort of narrow path. But if you look it up on Street View, it doesn't really look like a path at all. So I don't think it's an official path. And besides, parking it like a motorway car park just is dull. <laughs> you really want to be parking somewhere on a car park in the forest. But yeah, that motorway noise is quite notable. In fact, I'm now kind of heading towards the motorway. So I hope my GoPro doesn't overheat. At least the temperature is nice today. But uh, two weeks ago, no, maybe three weeks ago, I was actually making a game video again on my room. And that camera got really hot. I made a video about flashback. So I had to do some on-camera segments that I kind of teleprompted. That was kind of the first time that I worked with a script. Yeah, the camera just overheated and it wasn't even like 30 degrees. So, very close to motorway. Dang, that is noisy. I should remember this path because that goes back to the car park. So maybe I better stick alongside this little track here. Yeah, sadly we have all these motorway noises in the video. I guess that's just a little sacrifice. Because I just don't want to get lost. And this is the easiest path to remember. So it seems like we have to go uphill a little bit here. As you can see, this is inclining. So I'm also planning on visiting Apeldoorn today. It's kind of in the area and there is a, a music store that sells uh, musical instruments. And I need some MIDI cables and a few other things. So I might give that a visit. A lot of it is vacation traffic. But yeah, two weeks ago it was crazy hot. At least in the office we've got air conditioning, but I have no such thing at home. Just imagine that room of mine is getting insanely warm. I really desperately want an airco, but yeah, it's just the energy bill that's getting higher. And my father isn't really um, enthusiastic about an air conditioning. So yeah, it's just, ah, it's absolute suffering in that room when it's like 36 degrees outside and you have to sleep at night. and. It's just unsleepable with that sort of warmth. I just don't like hot temperatures at all. Here's another little hill with pine trees. And this sort of forest gets really dry in the summer. Pine trees, they seem to extract a lot of moisture. And this is also one of those areas that is probably affected a lot by drought. Ooh, that gets pretty high actually. In this vacation I also plan to go to the Hoge Veluwe at some point. Uh, it's been like many years since I've last been there. 
I think it was 2006 or so that I've actually gone to that museum but I'm not intending to go to the museum but just uh, well drive around on the bicycles I've heard that there are raven birds at the uh, Hoge Veluwe Park and well I do really want to kind of see them yeah they're just rare as but they're just extremely rare but that's kind of an area where they appear to be and the Hoge Veluwe is really interesting because uh, well it's a national park and you can visit it with a bicycle you can they actually have bicycles at the entrance so you can kind of roam around the park and there's also a museum there which is quite interesting I've visited that well at least two times one time with my parents somewhere around the late 90s early yeah I think it was like 1998 or 1999 and I've also visited in 2006 on a uh, school trip so that mu museum is called the Kruller Muller Museum and it has a lot of modern art uh, it's recommended if you're in the area ooh this path is getting a bit narrow Well, I think it's a very long path. I don't know if I'm going to like follow it all the way to the end. I must say, it is a little bit humid now. Well, at least one lucky thing there was when it was extremely warm. The humidity at least was low. That at least made the like 30 degree temperature a little bit more bearable. But imagine having that temperature with a humidity like we have today. That ain't fun. That ain't fun. That's just insane. <laughs> but uh, now, today it's like 23, 24 degrees. And humidity is quite a bit higher. It had also been raining uh, at night and also in the morning uh, it was quite overcast but when I left at home it was uh, raining a little bit and it was very cloudy and also along the road um, there was a little bit of rain but it improved a lot so oh I do think we're actually close to that motorway car park I do see something there oh that's interesting we can check out if there actually is some sort of path there but that means that we're also kind of in the area of where I want to end up so let's see if the motorway car park is like somewhat reachable it actually is a uh, well a fuel station I do kind of smell it oh hey here we have a few signposts. This one here. And this one here. Well, behind that hill is the car park. But yeah, it totally looks like that there's no real path. So I guess, should we continue walking from here? or just uh, head back to the car and call it a day I don't know I see another little signpost I still want to check this area out for a little bit hmm, the scenery is changing a bit look at this this looks a bit different yeah it's just a track for horses if you're wondering what that alarm is well it's an air raid siren test because it's uh, Monday, the first Monday of the month and at 12 o'clock they're testing the air raid siren but actually a few years ago I made a video in Lelystad and that was also on a Monday on the first Monday of the month and in that video you hear the same air raid siren 
So yeah, that's a funny coincidence. But yeah, that air raid siren is something that dates from the Cold War. And they are still, well, testing it. So that was a look at the Hulshorster Zand near Nunspeet and the A28 motorway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye bye.